Hi, fifth graders. Today we are um, going to cut out the hands that we have traced into our art book. Um, I've already kind of cut these out of the art book, but I thought I'd show you. So all I want you to do is carefully tear, okay? And then separate them. And then <clears throat> All I did with the other ones was I just got them ready. So we have M, R, and L, my initials. Now what we need to do is we're going to cut them out. And we're cutting and leaving the black lines, but we are not leaving any of the outside white paper. So you wanna cut right on the outside edge of the black, okay? Now you might cut off some of the black line. It's important then at the end that you go back and cut that or add that black line on with a marker. And I'll explain that. So I'm gonna take these two and put them off to the side and I'm gonna cut this hand out. Um, one thing that you can do right away is if you can see your hand on the back, you're gonna to wanna to take a pencil and I know you're at home, but I would still write your name and I would write the letter of the sign language right away. Um, Cause you're obviously gonna be cutting that R off, right? So to start, again, you are cutting right on that edge of the black and it's really obvious. I'll show you with the wrist here. When you leave that white on, so I did it in two spots on purpose. When you put it down on something, we'll zoom in. Okay. You can see the two areas that I did it right here and up here. I need to cut that white off. Okay. Some people go back with a black marker and color it in. I'd rather you cut it off. Um, in class, students cut, and I had students cut their fingers off. So please watch what you're doing. Um, you need to watch where you're going and you're not cutting into this black line here because I would cut that finger off. You're pivoting, turning your scissors and cutting along the outside edge. Okay. I also like to come in from other angles, other areas, and then I'll pop that whole thing off. Find that helpful. Again, coming in from a different angle. Okay, so there's that. Now let's say We'll zoom in. Let's say that I cut off, I cut too far into my hand and I cut the black off right here. Okay. What you want to do is if you have some extra scrap paper, I'll zoom out now. Sorry if I'm making you sick. Um, with some extra scrap paper underneath, you can grab that same black marker that you were using. Okay, and all you gotta do is just run it right along the edge. And then I'll put the black back on there. Okay, 
what you don't want to do and what I had other students do the other day was they cut out their hand and then they decided that this was a good piece of paper to do that edge with. Okay, we don't want to get anything on here. So you're going to do uh, cutting to the other two hands. You'll cut these other ones out just like you did with this one. And then please put them into your art book or somewhere safe that you're not going to lose them. And we'll talk about what we're doing with them come Monday. Okay. So by, um, by Monday, you need to have these cut out. And I'm actually, you'll see underneath this, I want you to take a picture with your three hands that are cut out um, and you'll hold them, you know, in front of the camera, holding all three of them like cards again, but they'll be cut out. All right. So that'll be your check-in for the week for me to see where you're at. So cut all three of them out and then um, take a picture and send it to me in the assignment um, underneath. Thank you. Have a good weekend, everyone.